Yours? I just figured his name wasn't up there. We do have a company that's doing this kind of work, right? And they seem to be doing it really well. Have you guys talked to other companies about these holidays at all? Uh, we do have a lot of resources internally to our company, but we have had people reach out to other people who are from Canada and you know, people who have been in Canada and celebrate these holidays within them. But um, first off, I want to thank you for your time, Mr. Oregon. My name is Elijah Gillespie. This is my colleague. Noah Scott. And this is our team. We put up, we put up this uh, presentation on the quality of Canada. Um, first off, we're going to start off with the Canada Day. Canada Day is a, also goes by Dominion, or Dominion Day. It's celebrated on July 1st. It is Canada's national holiday. Uh, it's a celebration of the unification of the colonies of Canada, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. Uh, May 2-4 weekend. May 2-4 weekend is uh, preceding Victoria Day. Victoria Day is the celebration of Queen Victoria's birthday which is on May 24th. Uh, it's an unofficial start of can uh, summer in Canada. It is also it's celebrated similar to how we celebrate the 4th of July in America, which is what, with fireworks and 24 packs of your favorite beverage. The next one is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving in Canada is celebrated on the second Monday of October. And it celebrates the harvest, and it also celebrates the, the blessings throughout the past year. So, National Indigenous People Day was formerly called National Aboriginal Day. It was changed by the Prime Minister in 2018. Uh, this takes place in the summer solace, uh, which is June 21st, and it recognizes the culture and diversity of the three Aboriginal groups in Canada, which are uh, the First Nations, the Inuit, and the Métis people. And then Remembrance Day uh, was also once formerly known as Armistice Day, which uh, celebrates the soldiers, of the First World War, and the soldiers currently now. Uh, so it's Commonwealth State. It's a third Commonwealth member state, and uh, it was called Armistice because that was the contract to end the First World War. And then Boxing Day. Uh, Boxing Day is. Uh, peculiar holiday because it's pretty much only celebrated throughout Canada. It takes place the day after uh, Christmas and this was once known throughout history because the servants would get the day off and their masters would give them a present to take home and so they would go and show their family and take the day off. Uh, and it is equivalent to the uh, Black, Friday, Black Friday in the U.S. Awesome, we just put this presentation to show kind of like the holidays that you guys share or celebrate here in Quebec and uh, a little bit of our knowledge to share with you on, on those holidays. Thank you for your time.